new here, welcome. Over here we talk about a bunch of stuff such as fashion, beauty, makeup, lifestyle. So if that's something that interests you, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you never miss a video. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. So today I figured that I'd share my no makeup makeup routine for girls who are lazy or just too busy because it's just nice to look put together and alive when you go out into the world. So this makeup routine takes only between 10 to 15 minutes to complete and it doesn't take any skills at all to come up with this very simple and natural looking makeup. So with that being said, let's just jump into the video. Okay, first step to not looking like you just rolled out of bed is applying some concealer. I'm using the Cookie Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. You really don't need to add a lot of product, just a little bit towards the inside of your under eye. Once that's done, just take your beauty blender and dab it gently across your under eye all the way up to your temple and down along the side of your nose. Now, since we're trying to spend the least time possible doing our makeup today because we don't feel like it or we're in a hurry, whatever the reason is, if we can get away with not wearing any foundation, then that's exactly what we're going to do. So just go ahead and cover up any redness or blemishes that are bothering you with the same concealer that you use for your under eye. And use whatever excess concealer is left on the beauty blender to drag it down the bridge of your nose. That way it gives you a little highlight and gives it the illusion of being contoured without having to contour it. Moving on to the eyes, we're going to use a pretty light color color and a flat fluffy brush and we're just roughly going to cover our eyelids with this light color of your choice. Using our temple slash cheekbone as our guide, we're just going to start applying the product from the outside going inwards. Just work the product in until you got the shape and the pigmentation that you want. Now I'm just going to add a bit of shimmer using this Block Party Tetris eyeshadow. I'm going to use a brush with some compact bristles and I'm just going to dust along my lash line and add a little pop on the inner corner of my eye. Now it's time for contour so I had to take out my MVP Shade & Light Contour Kit by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks and I'm going to bring it pretty high upwards. That way it lifts my cheeks more and then I'm just going to contour a bit my jawline and that's pretty much it for contour. Moving on to this Tarte bronzer using this fluffy NYX brush. I'm going to link all the products that I used in the description but I'm just going to dust myself with this bronzer all around my face towards the outsides of my face and I'm also using that as an opportunity to further blend my contour. Now I'm going to set my under eyes to avoid any creasing using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. I'm just using this sponge to pack on a bit of product and I'm just going to leave it there and move on to my blush. So I'm just using this 3-in-1 blush stick by Milk Cosmetics. I could use this as a blush, as a lipstick and as an eyeshadow if I wanted to but for today I'm just going to put some on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose and on my lips. Now that I added some color to my face, I'm going to need a little highlight. I'm just going to put some on the outer corner of my eye along my temple or cheekbone or whatever, then a bit down the bridge of my nose, especially in between my two eyes and on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Going in again with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder, I'm just going to dust it across my face to set my face and to remove any excess shininess. Next is time for eyebrows, a definitely super important part and sometimes kind of tricky part of your makeup. So basically just work with what you got. Honestly, I just like to kind of fill in where my brows are a little bit more sparse. I try not to draw my eyebrows on too dark 
because I find that looks kind of harsh when I have some really light natural looking makeup but yeah just go lightly and I really like just flicking the front part of my brows with the little spoolie at the end that way it makes the product look less harsh and therefore more natural now we can dust off the translucent powder from underneath our eyes and move on to eyeliner so I usually like to have some sort of cat eye and you can achieve that using pretty much anything. You could use eyeliner, you could use this little pencil like I'm using or you could even use a thin eyeshadow brush and create a cat eye. But it really all depends with what you have and with what kind of cat eye you want. But I just think that generally adding a little winged liner will go a long way in elongating your eyes and just lifting them up. That being said, I want to recommend this Tristique eyeliner pencil that I'm using because it's really helpful for anybody who doesn't really have a steady hand and who's just not comfortable applying eyeliner. I find that it makes it that much easier because instead of making the perfect line right away you can just add a bit of product on the outside corner of your eye like i'm doing right now and then use the other side of the pencil which has a smudging edge that way you could drag out the product how you want and create a super soft wing liner Finally, if you don't have your lashes done and you don't feel like applying on some false lashes, then just go ahead and put a nice coat of mascara to open up your eyes. And there you go! Some really natural makeup to make you look like you woke up like this and not like you just rolled out of bed. Okay guys, now that you've seen how easy it is to do this no makeup makeup, I hope that whenever you feel too busy or too lazy to do your makeup, you'll remember this video and see how fast you can look snatched and put together, all right? So that being said, you guys, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and maybe press the bell notification button or whatever. And if ever you want to see more content, then just follow me on my social medias, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!